Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's session. My name is Crystal Fullerton, and I am the Farm Safety Coordinator with the PEI Federation of Agriculture. Together with a grant from the PEI Workers' Compensation Board, we are proud to present to you our Building Sustainable Farmer webinar series. I'd like to introduce today's presenter, Frank Bulger, from the PEI Farmer Assistance Program. Frank is a registered social worker with over 40 years practice in both public and private sectors. Today, Frank will discuss the PEI Farmer Assistance Program, a mental health initiative to help island farmers and their families navigate the challenges of the agricultural sector. The program has been running since 2004 and has been copied by several other Canadian provinces to provide mental health support for those in the farming community. A few housekeeping issues to introduce before we begin. Please mute during the duration of the webinar to ensure a higher quality sound for everyone. We do have a chat and a Q&A section, but please pay attention as there are boxes that you can check off to ask your questions anonymously. We encourage all dialogue because we want you to get as much as possible out of these webinars. Sometimes being anonymous will help questions pop up that others were too shy to ask. Frank does not mind if you ask questions during the presentation, so please ask away, as this session is about learning about the importance of mental health on the farm. Also, there will be a poll during this webinar, and we ask that you participate. It only takes one minute. It's very simple, yes and no, multiple choice, and it helps us and our funders to determine if we're moving in the correct direction with our webinars. If you have any additional questions after the event, or suggestions for other speakers, you can contact us at farmsafety at peifa.ca. We will also be providing a recorded version of this webinar at a later date, so please check our website and YouTube channel, and we would love for you to share this information. For those of you just joining us now, welcome. And now I'm going to pass over the webinar to Frank Balger. Enjoy. Well, hello everyone, and uh, thank you, Crystal, for the introduction. Um, <clears throat> I'm uh, today going to speak uh, about the Farmer Assistance Program, and um, the Farmer Assistance Program, the PEI experience. <clears throat> uh, I wanted to say. Uh, and follow up to Crystal's comment that we've been in operation for the past 17 years or thereabouts. Uh, the program was the uh, effort of the province of PEI, the Federation of Agriculture, and a group of uh, health professionals, uh, including one psychologist and two social workers who had observed that uh, a lot of farm families were on their caseloads. So they set themselves up as a group to, um, to provide a service for this population. And that has happened, as I said, about 18 years ago. And since that date, the uh, program has been provided. And uh, <clears throat> as a matter of fact, the uh, intake and the usage of the program is increasing on an annual basis. Today, uh, I'd like to speak about uh, stress management, bullying in the workplace, harassment in the workplace, <clears throat> pardon me, and issues in the FAP program. Um, for our purposes, we will define stress as actually a normal, normal part of life. At times, uh, it serves as a useful purpose. Stress can, can motivate you to get a new promotion at work or maybe run that X last mile of the marathon. <clears throat> but if you don't get a handle on the stress and it becomes a long-term issue, it can seriously interfere with your job, family life, and, uh, and your health. Some of the causes of stress uh, might include um, death of a loved one, separation and divorce is always large, the loss of a job, increase in financial obligations, uh, getting married, moving homes, 
injury or chronic illness, emotional or mental health problems, traumatic events, and I think we could certainly include the COVID-19 in that one. Uh, <clears throat> caretaking for a loved one, such as or an aging person or a person with a disability, adult children moving home, and the opposite, opposite extreme is the empty nest syndrome, uh, major life changes. And I'm sure you can think of many other causes of stress. <clears throat> And I think all one has to do these days is turn on the TV and listen to the radio or the TV, I'm sorry, and watch the news. And uh, one can be uh, become highly stressed if they are not uh, careful. Um, symptoms of stress include uh, headaches, muscle, muscle tension, neck pain, and our back pain, upset stomach, dry mouth, chest, chest pain, difficulty uh, falling or staying asleep, fatigue, loss of appetite, overeating of comfort foods, lack of concentration of focus, um, memory problems and forgetfulness, short temper and anxiety. <clears throat> Some of the uh, methods that we can use uh, to counteract the stress would include uh, regular physical exercise. Uh, <clears throat> this helps uh, keep our body system regular and negate the stress. Uh, very often I recommend, if nothing else, uh, walking. It's usually fairly easy on the joints and uh, no great equipment is required. So. Uh, even up to an hour a day of uh, walking is incredibly helpful. Relaxation techniques, uh, learn how to slow the body, mind and realize you are not in danger, your fight, fight and flight syndrome. Uh, adjust our attitude, try to change our attitude to stress with recognizing that stress is a universal phenomenon maybe write possible solutions to challenging problems. <clears throat> Learn how to say no. It's amazing how many people uh, will uh, have a struggle to say no. But, but nevertheless, try to learn why it is difficult for you to use uh, no and to say no. Keep a stress diary. This helps us to become uh, more aware of situations that cause us stress for us. For example, if we have a diary, a stress diary, and we note that every November, for example, our stress level is going up, well, maybe that's going to help us to understand <clears throat> that maybe it's Christmas that's triggering, triggering us, or maybe it's an event in, in our past life that may be triggering us. Uh, so it's always helpful, in my opinion, to keep a diary uh, of our stress level. Reduce the bad consumption, such as caffeine, alcohol, refined sugar. Instead, drink water, natural fruit juices, or herbal teas. Um, some other methods of counteracting the stress would include uh, talking to others, Talk with a family member, call a friend, or talk with a counselor or therapist. Prioritize yourself. Make it a priority to do something you enjoy, for example, pursuing a hobby such as music, art, gardening, or meditation. I always find that if you have music, uh, it is always a great form of entertainment and relaxation. Smile and laugh. Laughter goes a long way in reducing stress. It can help to change the chemicals in our system. Learn to sleep better. Avoid the vicious cycle of stress causing the inability to sleep and the lack of sleep causing more stress. 
Blake for a moment wants to talk about uh, bullying in the workplace. And I think for a lot of time, we always thought that, you know, bullying was a playground issue. And once everybody grew up, then uh, the bullying issues went away. However, I think we've all come to realize that bullying uh, is also an adult issue uh, and very much one in the workplace as well. So workplace bullying can be seen as acts or verbal comments that could mentally hurt or isolate a person in the workplace. Sometimes bullying can involve negative physical contact as well. Bullying usually involves repeated incidents or a pattern of behaviors that is intended to intimidate, offend, degrade, or humiliate a particular person or group of people. Some examples of bullying would include spreading of malicious rumors, gossip or innuendo, socially, socially excluding or isolating someone, threatening abuse, and the act of physical abuse, making obviously offensive jokes by spoken word, email, social media, or any other means. Uh, others would include intruding on a person's privacy by pestering, spying, or stalking, inappropriate yelling, <clears throat> use of profanity, tapping with a person's personal belongings or work equipment, and uh, I'm sure you can all think of many other tactics that a bully might use. I'm thinking, for example, these days, uh, the internet and social media is a big one. The effects of bullying on the victim include uh, uh, shock, anger, feelings of frustrated frustration or helplessness, increased sense of vulnerability, loss of confidence, panic or anxiety about going to work, and inability to concentrate. I think it's uh, uh, when we're talking about a work, a farm setting, for example, I think it's uh, worthwhile to think about the panic a uh, person might experience of going to work there if they are being bullied uh, and all the dangers associated with that. For example, getting injured in machinery and so on. The effects of bullying on the workplace, increased absenteeism, increased staff turnover, increased accident and incident risk, decreased productivity and motivation, decreased morale, and decreased performance in customer service. Har <coughs> harassment. Workplace bullying and harassment are often on the same continuum. Perhaps the greatest distinction between the two is that harassment is considered to be bullying that is targeted at a specific protected class done because of the victim's protected class or group. And protected classes or group would include race, color, religion, sex, age, disability, national origin, or sexual orientation. If you want to uh, learn more about the uh, harassment on the work site, I would, rec I would refer you to the uh, provincial uh, government uh, legislation on that, by the way. Some common issues that we uh, would frequently encounter in the uh, FAP program, the Farmer Assistance Program, uh, <clears throat> include uh, a lengthy list here. And the reason we're talking about this today is so that people will uh, hear these and uh, understand that the program deals with many and varied uh, issues and situations. And I believe it's helpful for people to understand that, you know, if, if they are experiencing something or feeling a certain way, that is quite uh, legit and quite appropriate to reach out to the farmer, farmer assistance program to talk about it. Uh, we are here to provide a service to the uh, to the farming community and uh, 
we are always happy to hear from from people. Um, but some some of the uh, uh, situations or types of situations that we would deal with would include um, um, anxiety and depression. I believe it is easily understood that any time in which we as human beings experience prolonged periods of stress, anxiety and depression may be expected and fully understood. The anxiety and depression can then be manifested in many ways, both emotionally and physically. Couples counseling, separation and divorce, again, farming, offers a lot of opportunities for conflict for the farming couple. And if these conflicts are not understood or managed well, stress may evolve. Separation and divorce are sometimes the outcome if relationships are not managed well. Parent-child conflict, parenting arrangements. When parents are stressed or experiencing difficulties, often the whole family is affected, which will frequently lead to conflict in the parent-child relationships. Injury and death, farm-related injuries are not uncommon and can cause stress for the whole family. Serious illness can also be an issue, as well as sudden death, including suicides. <clears throat> and I do believe that there is this one program, one session within the um, <clears throat> uh, within this series that includes suicide and uh, suicides on the farm. And by the way, just to, uh, for that uh, uh, issue, anytime that somebody is talking or you believe that somebody is uh, at risk for suicide, by all means, uh, ask them if they are feeling stressed or if they are feeling a need or an interest in doing harm to themselves. J just because we ask the question, it's not going to uh, give them the idea of, of dying by suicide. Intergenerational planning, <clears throat> intergenerational rel relationships on the farm can be a source of stress and tension, <clears throat> including the very sensitive issue of farm succession planning. I cannot emphasize enough the importance of uh, farm succession planning early in the life of the farm family. Addictions. Some people are prone to self-medicating when stress becomes unmanageable for them, often compounding the already difficult situation. More issues would include gender, gender identity issues, of financial issues and stress and many, many more. The, uh, the Farmer Assistance Program is publicized on a regular basis by newsletters that come from the uh, uh, Federation and, and also from the uh, uh, Federation of Agriculture, Department of Agriculture, also by calendars and correspondence with farmers. Funding for the program, uh, as, as we said earlier, it's initiative of government and industry alike, including the Federation of Agriculture, Provincial Department of Agriculture and Land, local funding, Farm Credit Canada, and the National Farmers Union is also a supporter. Um, in PEI, we have two counselors who uh, do the farmer assistance program. Myself in Charlottetown at 902-626-9787. And Wendy Holm in Summerside at 902-786-4656. So if you have any questions, uh, I would be happy to uh, hear you. Our other provinces, well, the question here, uh, are other provinces offering FAP? Uh, to the best of my knowledge, some are. Um, I'm not sure 
I know it's been talked about in some other provinces. Ontario, for example, I believe, has a similar program uh, in um, parts of the province. I'm not sure that it covers the entire province. Um, that's the only one that I'm familiar with, quite frankly. Uh, this question, did you find uh, an increase in requests for support once the Farmers Talk uh, campaign was launched? <clears throat> It's, it's, I find it difficult to determine what it is that triggers uh, certain uh, uh, requests for service. Uh, but I, I do find that as of late, uh, the intake certainly is increasing, yes. And you share your yearly stats. Seems to me last year we had summers around 290 um, interviews conducted for the for the for that year. At least over time. Uh, yes, the increase the stats uh, have have increased almost annually over the past five to ten years. Uh, the question: uh, Do you uh, track trends in what services are requested to be able to target your support? Um, <clears throat> I do not believe that we uh, track the trends as such, but we always make note of, uh, of particular issues that may be, um, uh, may be of interest to people. What, uh, what particular issues are mostly brought forward? I, uh, my impression would be that family issues would be uh, uh, family-related uh, relationships, and also probably uh, depression and anxiety uh, would be uh, the most prominent. I'm just gonna take a pause here for a moment and give Frank a chance to have a uh, drink of water. And uh, well, as, you can, as you can tell, we're both in the same room. So unfortunately you get to see me in the corner there. Um, I'm just gonna launch our poll and if you fellas could um, participate in that, that would be wonderful. And uh, while uh, you're doing that and Frank has a drink of water, uh, think up some new questions for him because this is the, uh, the gentleman to ask. And now is the time to uh, find out uh, everything you want to know about how the Farmer Assistance Program has been working in PEI and how it's helping uh, the farmers. And uh, if it can be... Uh, replicated in other parts of the country. I know that's uh, been of keen interest to some other people. So Frank, while uh, they're doing their uh, poll, I'm going to ask you a question. Sure. So yeah. the Farmer Assistance Program, you deal with not only the farmers, but their families, their children, and their employees? Yes. I mean, uh, the farmers, farmers, uh, the family, and, um, <coughs> and employees are all in uh, entitled to six sessions uh, per calendar year for the program, uh, Crystal. Okay, and does it, can it be like, say, you do two in January and three in July and one in December, they don't have to be one right after the other, it's well, as they need it? That's right. And in fact, that's what happens in a lot of situations. Good, good. And with our program, do you uh, allow the temporary foreign workers? Do they have access if their employer is uh, employed on the is part of the FAP program? Uh, yes, if they are members of the federation or of the National Farmers Union, the uh, temporary foreign workers are eligible. Yes. Okay. Yeah. They, uh, the question is uh, how many sessions, and we said uh, people are allowed uh, six sessions per year. Uh, can this be increased if more sessions are required? Thanks. Um, I guess our um, the reality is if it's only going to take one or two more sessions, then obviously we would uh, we would carry carry on and work with that individual or situation. If it were going to be a long term issue, we would try to refer to one of the. Uh, uh, provincial government and programs. 
Now, Frank, if someone wanted to use your services, um, can they go beyond the six if they wanted to and, and pay a fee? Is there a... Yes, they would, in that situation, they would see us in our private practice, uh, Crystal, yeah. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> most of the accounts are both uh, Wendy Holm and myself have a private practice going as well. And um, uh, so people could continue to see us within the private practice. We're getting to the end of our voting for our polling here. Um, thank you very much to everyone who is doing this. Um, uh, in your opinion, do you find the training programs like mental health uh, first aid as an asset to having people uh, directed to you for your help? Is this type of program creating awareness? Uh, <clears throat> I always think that uh, a program such as that is extremely helpful, not only in providing um, awareness, but I think it, it helps to eliminate the issue around the stigma of mental illness and so on. And it gives people the permission to seek for, to seek ill help. <clears throat> and I think that's always important and particularly in this business and uh, probably in all of life for that matter. But, to try to diminish as much as we possibly can the stigma with asking for help with mental health issues. Question, do farmers tell you uh, that it is important to talk to someone uh, that has a farming background? I believe that is important. It, it is, uh, it, I believe it is helpful, but I do not feel it is absolutely necessary. I believe it can save time if the counselor has a, uh, a background in farming, but uh, I believe a sensitive sensitivity to the person and the issues are probably more important. Another question is, do you educate you know, maintaining mental, mental fitness as well as well in your sessions? Yes. Uh, for example, in dealing with anxiety and depression, um, we would talk about strategies that a person could use to help to deal with that. And I think uh, <clears throat> the reality is that sometimes people also need uh, a medical intervention as well. Uh, and they may need, for example, if it's depression, they may need uh, uh, antidepressant medication, in which we situation we would refer them to their family doctor for, uh, for medical intervention. Uh, question, uh, the two therapists have farming backgrounds, if so, do you feel it is important to farmers? Uh, I have a farming background myself. Uh, the other therapist, um, uh, less so, but I believe um, uh, I believe she's doing good work with with the farmers and uh, has a sensitivity for the for the population. So Frank, do you, you don't prescribe any medication. Um, if you are asking a client to go back and talk to their family doctor, do you give them like a written note or do you call the doctor or how does that work out? Uh, no, I, I'm a social worker, so I do not prescribe medication. But uh, so what I would do is explain to the, uh, ex explain to the client that, uh, uh, in my opinion, they uh, might benefit from uh, from medication, and uh, it's it's amazing how people are willing uh, to accept that uh, uh, at these times, and uh, <clears throat> are prepared to at least consider going to the doctor and uh, talking about it at least. Period. Yeah. So you're not finding there's um, a lot of uh, a discussion about trying to convince somebody to seek um, a therapy in that regard? Like do you find most people are quite open now because of this understanding of mental I think, health? Yeah, I think uh, Crystal, most people are uh, much more aware, much more understanding around the importance of uh, mental health. And if the medication is part of that, then they seem open to that. Just uh, one, one more question, just because I have you here, Frank. 
Do you find it's older people are using the uh, the service, or what about younger people? You, you hear about the challenges of getting into farming. Are uh, younger farmers getting into it, going, "Oh my heavens, okay," and and making more use of it, or is it a pretty balanced approach as far as demographics go for ages? Um, I'm finding it's a pretty balanced group, uh, actually. The, the younger people uh, will probably become earlier in their process. Older people may delay it a bit, uh, but nevertheless, uh, we do seem to be getting uh, the general spectrum of the population. Yeah. Here we've got, oh, I'll let Frank handle this one. Say that out loud. <laughs> uh, keep up the great work, Frank. Uh, Glad to know you're out there. Well, thank you very much. And I must say it's been a wonderful experience in my career to work with the uh, FAP program. I enjoy it immensely and uh, thank you to everyone. And uh, I'll just kind of scooch in here beside Frank. It's totally not professional, but as my head's disappearing, but I want to say thank you to everyone, to Frank and to all of our uh, um, participants who showed up today and uh, please check out the rest of our series on our Building Sustainable Farmer webinar. We have a few more left and we would love to have you all uh, come along and uh, with that I say thank you and stay safe and uh, enjoy life.